They need a man. Is anybody else who would not have a man? Okay, the Rules Committee will come to order. And let me begin by saying everybody looks good. Um, first, I want to thank our members and staff for their patience tonight um, and helping us, uh, helping this committee get to the finish line on this transformational uh, Build Back Better bill. I think in the interest of time, I will not repeat myself about all the good things in this legislation. I'll just say that this bill is going to help a hell of a lot of people, and I'm incredibly proud uh, to bring this forward. Uh, the rule self-executes a manager's amendment from Chairman Yarmouth, uh, and this amendment includes a change to the prescription drug language, which clarifies the definition of a qualifying single-source drug, and it updates the year for the purposes of the non-federal average manufacturer price. It adjusts the cap for the salt deduction relief, it restores funding to information technology programs. It clarifies that the District of Columbia is included in certain programs. And finally, it makes other technical and conforming corrections, including to address privilege issues in the United States Senate. Uh, yesterday, you know, we stayed uh, in past midnight, spending uh, roughly eight hours going through a couple of thousand pages of uh, bill text, which is understandable. So since this amendment is only 10 pages, uh, we should be able to get through it in about two minutes um, <laughs> and get out of here before midnight, I hope. But I'll do my part to shut up now, and I will now happily turn to our ranking member for any comments that he wishes to make. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I don't have uh, too many comments, but I do have a couple of questions, if I may, uh, based on the manager's amendment. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, we heard a testimony yesterday that a $72,500 salt cap uh, would give someone making a million dollars in New Jersey the ability to fully use that deduction. With the increase to $80,000, do you know how many more millionaires will be able to take full advantage of this generous provision? I can get him, I will get him something in, in response to that. I can't tell you off the top of my head. Well, uh, we were just curious. It seemed like an unusual adjustment, and I would appreciate a response. Second question, if I may, on, again, on the manager's amendment, Mr. Chairman. It uh, looks like there's an additional $500 million provided for a number of uh, GSA and IT-related programs. Could you explain to us what that is, what the need for that is? So my understanding is that was a provision in the original bill reported out by the Budget Committee. From the Oversight Committee. From the Oversight Committee. Do we know what its purpose was for any, you know, just, again, I'm not trying to be argumentative. I'm just curious. Yeah, no, I, 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 can, I can try to get that to you, but I know it was debated and voted on the Oversight Committee. Okay, yeah, is, if you could give us the explanation, sure. somehow we missed that. Okay. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, okay, so... At this time, we'll entertain a motion from the distinguished gentleman uh, from California, Mrs. Torres. Mr. Chairman, I move the committee grant H.R. 5376, the Build Back Better Act, a closed rule. The rule provides two hours of debate equally divided among and controlled by the chair and ranking minority member of the committee on the budget or their respective designees. 
and the chair and ranking minority member of the Committee on Ways and Means or their respective designees. The rule waives all points of order against consideration of the bill. The rule provides that an amendment in the nature of a substitute consisting of the text of Rules Committee Print 117-18 modified by the amendment printed in the Rules Committee Report shall be considered as adopted and the bill as amended shall be considered as read. The rule waives all points of order against provisions in the bill as amended. The rule provides one motion to recommit. Finally, the rule provides that House Resolution 188 is amended by striking November 18, 2021 and inserting December 3rd, 2021. So you have heard the motion from the gentleman from California. Is there any amendment or discussion? Mr. Cole. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I do have an amendment. I move that the committee make the necessary changes to the rule which would prevent consideration of H.R. 5376 until the House receives a complete uh, CBO and JCT or uh, Congressional Budget Office and Joint Committee on Taxes uh, score on the legislation. As I noted last night, Mr. Chairman, the Senate will not even begin the consideration of this legislation before us until they receive a CBO score on it. it makes no sense to me that uh, we need to hurry up and pass this bill for it to just sit until a CBO uh, completes its work. We ought to have access to that information before members in the House are asked to cast a vote. It's not just Republicans who have these concerns. As noted uh, in our hearing last night, five Democrats sent a letter to the Speaker asking her to delay consideration until we have, quote, the proper CBO JCT scoring information before any floor consideration. I'm grateful that it seems like uh, Democrats have been able to wave a magic wand and get a, a JCT score to provide a mostly complete score of the revenue provisions in a day and got the White House to provide an unofficial and potentially biased preliminary budget estimate. But that's not what the rules require, and it's clearly insufficient for the Senate to move forward. And let's not forget that for a second, uh, for a second why Congress has a Congressional Budget Office. There needs to be a nonpartisan scorekeeper to evaluate legislation, not a party that, who has a vested interest in the outcome. Uh, what are my friends uh, on the other side afraid of? If I had to guess, I think that they're afraid uh, that the final numbers uh, that they see from the CBO and JCT will not meet their expectations. That's why I offer this amendment to allow the majority to slow down, to give the American people and the members of Congress time to read and digest what is in this more than 2,100-page bill. I urge support of my amendment, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back. Well, thank you very much. And I would just uh, say that, as the gentleman pointed out, there is a JCT score. Um, and um, I know the gentleman. Um, that's a, remember, though, that's the revenue yeah, yeah, side, and, not and, the spending yeah, and, side. And, and, I, um, and I appreciate the gentleman wanting to slow the process down, but I can assure him that this has been a slow and painful process. Uh, that has gotten us not to this slow point. Not enough and not but, painful but, enough. Right. But as, as uh, <laughs> and I'm sure you will do all you can to, my friends will do all they can to make it more painful before we get to the you finish can, line. You, you can count on it. But I will also assure the gentleman, as he knows, that uh, this cannot become law and uh, it will not move forward in the Senate uh, without a CBO score. Um, and that will have to happen. Um, and so um, I, pre well, I appreciate the gentleman's. Well, just, you know, yeah. clearly it's been difficult for the majority uh, to get to this point, and uh, not to make it more difficult, but a CB, we ought to have the same yeah. information, well, honestly, yeah. before our members cast their vote. It may never get to the Senate to be considered if people yeah. can actually see a CBO. Yeah. And, and I, and I, and I, I think for our members who um, who are concerned about making sure this is paid for, um, I think. Um, they feel confident enough that, in fact, based on what um, our chairs have told us and how we've been briefed, that this is fully paid for, which is really kind of different from, quite, quite frankly, the way my friends uh, uh, um, dealt with things when they were in the uh, majority. Um, as we know, we had this uh, Trump tax bill that passed that was not paid for, that added $2 trillion to our debt. But putting that aside, I mean, I, I, we believe this is fully paid for. Um, and, we have a CBO score. Uh, well, we believe this is, and there will be a CBO score before this makes it to the finish line. Uh, but we do have a JCT score, 
and we are confident that um, you know that this is um, going to meet everybody's expectations and more. Well, we would just like all your members to have the full I appreciate information it. before they we, cast. I, I, it's I, a know, very consequential vote for them. No, I appreciate that. Um, You've heard the uh, Ms. Fishbach. Uh, Mr. Chair, since there's a discussion about um, having the CBO score, I'm just wondering, I, I, my understanding is this appropriates additional money that adds money to the bill. And I asked um, uh, Mr., I believe it was Mr. Yarmouth last night, or maybe this morning, could be anything. It could have been one of the, I think it was your uh, birthday. <laughs> okay. Oh, that um, was the about that. how much it costs oh. and, it was your and last the, total, birthday. the total cost of the of the bill, and I was trying to figure out, do we have a total cost of the bill at this point? I mean, yeah. if we're yeah. adding money. Yeah. The cost will be zero, Ms. Fishbach. Okay, then what? And I, and, I, and, I, and, and I believe that, uh, you know, and I, and just, and I, and again, I, you know, we can go back and forth. But, you know, uh, regardless of whether we have a CB, CBO score or a JCT score or any other score, I have a feeling that no matter what that score says and whether or not it, uh, it reinforces what I'm saying here today, I don't think any of my colleagues um, on this side of the uh, dais will vote for this bill at the end of the day. Anyway, but nonetheless, Mr. Chair, yeah. I think we should be able to understand what's in the bill. Yeah. I think we all do. I think we do. I well, mean, and, 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 and we and, can have a debate that's... tomorrow on the floor. And um, but I, I think we know that this bill includes things like universal free pre-K uh, pre for people. We know it will lower prescription drugs. We know it will uh, lower the cost of insulin. We know a lot of things. We we sat here for eight hours talking about what's in the bill, and we heard our re Republican friends say what they didn't like, and that's perfectly fine. And, um, and but I but I think I think we feel confident enough to move forward, and we think our members are confident enough with the data that they have received that we can proceed, and there will be a CBO score before this uh, uh, becomes law. And, and Mr. Chair, with all due respect, can I may I have actually just a total? I understand you say that you're paying for everything, but at one point it was three point five trillion, then it was one point seven five. I, I sincerely want to know uh, the the amount of money we're spending in the bill. And I understand, I, I, will, I will say that, I understand that you say you're paying for it, but I think- right, So unlike the tax bill, which got, added $2 trillion to the debt, this will not. So. We'll, we'll have an opportunity to debate that tomorrow. Look at, yeah. And, yeah so I just, so nobody will tell me. Literally nobody, you won't tell me how much this bill so spends. Under $2 trillion. Under $2 yeah. trillion, thank you. It wasn't that hard. No, I did. <laughs> yeah, give I, me that number. I wasn't sure where you were going. Uh, oh. Yeah, but I think the question you asked in the beginning was cost, and that's why I responded the way I did. So, yeah, I okay. But anyway, we're good now. All right. Um, anybody else? Uh, well, Mr. Chairman, I was just going to add, it's difficult to know. Dr. Burgess. Yes, sir. It's difficult to know that it, you've covered the cost if you don't know what the cost is. So I, 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 think I, just, I think I just told her that. Well, it's a valid question. And I'm no, I know, but I, 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 maybe I misinterpreted the question. Any other comments or questions? If not, the vote is on the motion from the gentlewoman from California. All those, if, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. I want to make sure we vote on your motion. I, I would appreciate it. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, I actually have a feeling what the vote will be, but uh, I'd like to be. Uh, uh, all right, so we heard the, uh, the member from the gentleman from uh, Oklahoma. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. No. In the opinion of the chair, the noes have it. On that, uh, we request a recorded vote. A recorded vote. vote has been requested. Clerk will call the roll. Mrs. Torres. No. Mrs. Torres, no. Mr. Perlmutter. No. Mr. Perlmutter, no. Mr. Raskin. Hold on. He's, he's pressing a button. No. Okay. Mr. Raskin, no. Ms. Scanlon? No. Ms. Scanlon, no. Mr. Morelli? No. Mr. Morelli, no. Mr. Desaunier? No. Mr. Desaunier, no. Ms. Ross? No. Ms. Ross, no. Mr. Nagoose? No. Mr. Nagoose, no. Mr. Cole? Aye. Mr. Cole, aye. Mr. Burgess? Aye. Mr. Burgess, aye. Mr. Rushenthaler? Aye. Mr. Rushenthaler, aye. Mrs. Fishbach? Mrs. Fishbach, aye. Mr. Chairman? No. Mr. Chairman, no. Clerk, report the total. Four yeas, nine nays. Amendment is not agreed to. Further amendments? K-12 
Hearing that now, the vote is on the motion from the gentleman from California. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed aye. say no. Can no. you the chair of the ayes have it? Mr. Chairman, on that, we would request a recorded vote. A recorded vote. vote has been requested. Clerk will call the roll. Mrs. Torres. Aye. Mrs. Torres, aye. Mr. Perlmutter. Aye. Mr. Perlmutter, aye. Mr. Raskin. Aye. Mr. Raskin, aye. Ms. Scanlon. Aye. Ms. Scanlon, aye. Mr. Morelli. Aye. Mr. Morelli, aye. Mr. Desaunier. Aye. Mr. Desaunier, aye. Ms. Ross. Aye. Ms. Ross, aye. Mr. Nagoose. Aye. Mr. Nagoose, aye. Mr. Cole. No. Mr. Cole, no. Mr. Burgess. No. Mr. Burgess, no. Mr. Rushenthaler. No. Mr. Rushenthaler, no. Mrs. Fishbach. No. Mrs. Fishbach, no. Mr. Chairman. Aye. Mr. Chairman, aye. Clerk, report the total. Nine yeas, four nays. The motion is agreed to, and I will handle it for uh, our side. And Mr. Burgess will handle it for the Republicans. And we will probably be on the floor, I'm told, at 8 a.m. So uh, <laughs> we will be there for Ms. Fishback's next birthday. Um, <laughs> That's uh, fine. We'll take yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, so um, without objection, the committee is adjourned. Sure, B. I'm all done.